Marshall Universe Preview Note before watching, the video contains spoilers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Season 10, Episodes 48, Lin Dong's Battle at the Bottom of the Lake Creek As the vortex formed within the lightning lake, a silver ball of light slowly rose from within, before quietly floating in front of the absent-minded gazes of Lin Dong and Lu Shangxuan. Yet another thunderbolt core. Behind Lu Shangxuan, those experts from the mysterious Sky Hall were also in slight shock as they stared at the scene before them. Obviously, never did they imagine that another thunderbolt core would surface from the lake. After being in a dazed state for only a short moment, they abrupted glared at Lin Dong and Mu Lingshan. Before this, Lin Dong had already obtained a thunderbolt core. Hence, this newly surfaced one definitely had to land in the hands of their mysterious Sky Hall. However, while they were glaring and warning Lin Dong, Lu Shangxuan in front of them suddenly started to smile sweetly. With a gentle wave of her jade-like hand, her beautiful eyes stared at Lin Dong before saying a soft voice, Brother Lin Dong, looks like this lightning lake isn't simple at all. What level of intellect did this girl possess? The scene that had just occurred before her was obviously something out of the ordinary. Thunderbolt cores were rather rare. However, as of now, this lightning lake had suddenly sprouted two of them. What did this mean? Lu Shangxuan's eyes, which were now slightly radiating with brilliance, slowly turned towards the vast and endless lightning lake. From the looks of this, there should be quite a big secret hidden below this lightning lake. Lin Dong's gaze had also slowly withdrawn from the thunderbolt core. Proceeding to smile, he replied, looks like we are in luck. That thunderbolt core should be mine then, all right? Lu Shangxuan said with a faint smile, before waving her jade-like hand. A suction erupted, pulling the thunderbolt core into her hand. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong's eyes faintly flashed, but he did not take any action. Lu Shangxuan was no pushover, and it would be quite troublesome if he were to fight with her. Moreover, at the moment, he was more concerned about finding out what was below the lightning lake, that was actually able to cause thunderbolt cores to continuously surface. Lu Shangxuan started to play with the thunderbolt core within her jade-like hand, before smiling sweetly towards Lin Dong. However, just as she was able to say something, her black eyebrows knitted together all of a sudden. Raising her head, she looked towards the sky not far away, where a large quantity of whooshing noises could suddenly be heard ringing out. Ha! Shangxuan! You are quite lucky! You've actually managed to obtain a thunderbolt core upon arriving here! A laughter rang out not far away, before a group of people rapidly shot over and hovered above the lightning lakes. Their leader was precisely Pang Hao, of the Nine Serene Gate. Very quickly, quite a few whooshing noises rang out from the location behind Pang Hao and his group. Those figures were the experts that had rushed over from various locations. Looking at the experts that have rushed over, Lin Dong involuntarily frowned, while helplessness filled his heart. This lightning lake was simply too prominent. Once those experts that had entered this region sensed the lightning lake, they rush over immediately. The second those experts had rushed over, their eyes turned scorching as they stared at the thunderbolt core within Lu Shangxuan's jade-like hand. In the next instant, thick feelings of greed began to erupt from within their eyes. However, despite their greed, they did not dare to take any action towards Lu Shangxuan. After all, there were powerful experts from Mysterious Sky Hall standing behind her, and they were not for show. With her eyebrows slightly knitted, Lu Shangxuan looked towards Pang Hao, who was wearing a smile on his face, before looking at the large group of experts. In the next instant, her beautiful eyes shifted towards Lin Dong. At this moment, the latter's face didn't have a single fluctuation present and she was completely unable to read his thoughts. Since Lin Dong did not say anything, Lu Shangxuan chose to remain silent. Under the gaze of so many experts, could it be that she would take the initiative to mention the bizarre occurrence at the bottom of the lightning lake? As both Lin Dong and Lu Shangyuan both maintained their silence through tacit understanding, a ripple, then a vortex slowly formed on the surface of the lightning lake once again. Sigh. Upon seeing this, a helpless sigh rang out within the hearts of Lin Dong and Lu Shangxuan. It seems like this lightning lake was intent on throwing the world into chaos. The fluctuations surfacing from the lightning lake caused the enormous number of experts that have rushed here to gawk, before casting their gazes over. In the next moment, they looked in shock as a ball of light that was sparkling with lightning rose from within the vortex. Thunderbolt Core. The instant that ball of light appeared, the eyes of all the experts instantly became akin to slits, before capillaries started crawling up within. In the next instant, boundless Yuan power seemingly erupted simultaneously. Wuxing sounds rang out as figures shot out at the same time, 
rushing forwards in an attempt to snatch the Thunderbolt core. Dozens of figures bristling with boundless Yuan power violently collided against each other, causing astonishing fluctuations to radiate out while close quarters fighting that reeked of blood instantly erupted. This close quarters fight was rather miserable, as people continuously shot out while spurting blood from their mouths, hair disheveled, and extremely unwilling expressions on their faces. While being ousted, their gazes were akin to the gamblers that had lost to the final winner. Lin Dong stared indifferently at the culling happening before him. It didn't go on for long, ending approximately 10 minutes after it started. An expert that had stepped into perfect profound life stage, who was now covered in blood, grabbed the thunderbolt core, before laughing heartily at the sky. Although this perfect profound life stage expert was quite powerful, he had suffered rather serious injuries during this struggle. Hence, even his aura had started to feel sluggish. From this, one could tell how vicious and fearsome the fight was. Plop. Just as this expert that had obtained the Thunderbolt core and was laughing heartily at the sky, ripples suddenly surfaced from the Thunder Sea surrounding him. At the next instant, two vortices appeared simultaneously, as two Thunderbolt cores appearing dazzlingly from within. His laughter came to a spontaneous end, as the expert of perfect profound life stage stared dumbfoundedly at the two Thunderbolt cores that had popped up. For a moment, he was simply unable to regain his senses. After all, he did not know why the Thunderbolt core, which was rarely seen, would actually appear in like cabbages here, popping up one by one. Bang! As the two Thunderbolt cores appeared, it immediately caused an uproar to emerge in the surroundings of the Lightning Lake, as everyone looked at each other while observing this bizarre scene before them. For a moment, no one actually took the initiative to snatch those two Thunderbolt cores. Evidently, they were slight confused about what was going on. Haha! Ha. Looks like there is a secret at the bottom of this lake. Pang Hao's eyes sparkled as he observed the spectacle before him, before speaking out with deep intent as he shot a look towards Lin Dong and Lu Shangxuan. Huff. Lin Dong gently exhaled a breath of air, before shooting a look at Lu Shangxuan. By chance, the latter's beautiful eyes had also looked over. As their gazes intersected, they gave a helpless laugh. Looks like their dreams of devouring it alone had gone up into smoke. Lin Shan, let's go. A low roar rang out seemingly instantly from Lin Dong's mouth. At that split second, green light instantly encased his body, before he rushed into the lightning lake with not the slightest bit of hesitation. At the exact same time when Lin Dong had rushed into the lightning lake, white light sparkled around Lu Shangxuan's body. With a move of her alluring body, she also rushed into the lightning lake. Plop plop. Following right after them, Mu Lingshan as well as the experts from the mysterious sky hall had also moved without the slightest bit of hesitation. Plopping sounds rang out as all of them all jumped into the lightning lake. Ha! Interesting. Let's go. With a smile, Pang Hao looked at the spectacle unfolding before him. With a wave of his hand, he immediately dashed into the lightning lake. The situation before him was very clear cut, the real treasure should be located at the bottom of the lightning lake. The real treasure is at the bottom of the lake. Only at this moment, did all the surrounding experts regain their senses before thick greedy intent erupted from their eyes. In the next moment, plopping sounds rang out as all of them rushed into the lake. The lightning lake, which was originally peaceful, seemingly turned lively in an instant. With regards to this situation, Lin Dong was too lazy to be bothered. Since the secret of the lightning lake had already been exposed, the only thing left to do was to be the first one to find out what was at the bottom of this lightning lake, and obtaining it as quickly as possible. Green light encased Lin Dong's body. As he rushed into the lightning lake, he increased his speed to the maximum, heading straight for the bottom of the lake. He truly wanted to see exactly what mysterious item was present at the bottom of the lake, that was able to produce endless thunderbolt cores. Chi Chi. Lin Dong's figure darted quickly within the lightning lake just like a fish. The water within the lightning lake wasn't that of normal lake water, but a silver lightning liquid instead. Countless rays of lightning sparkled within, as berserk fluctuations were faintly discernible while they radiated out. A green light had completely encased Lin Dong's body. As strands of lightning came into contact with the green light, crackling sounds erupted out. At a place like this, if one was to reckless barge around within paying attention to one's strength, one might be instantly reduced into ashes by this lightning liquid. Even someone like Lin Dong had to maintain a sliver of vigilance at all times. Mu Ling Shan followed closely behind Lin Dong. Further behind, was the large group of experts, who have charged to the lightning lake from various places. Obviously, right now, everyone knew that the bottom of the lightning lake was hiding a secret. Lin Dong shot a glance towards his back. The momentum generated by them caused him to gently wrinkle his forehead. 
However, he proceeded to helplessly shake his head. Since the situation had evolved to this stage, there was nothing he could do to prevent it from happening. In that case, everything depends on one's own strength. Retracting his gaze, Lin Dong cast his eyes towards the bottom of the lightning lake. As he gradually went deeper and deeper, he was beginning to realize how vast and expansive it really was. Furthermore, the shape of the bottom of the lightning lake was extremely peculiar, with erected strange giant silver rocks scattered all across. As they came into contact with each other, they seemed to form countless cliffs. At first glance, one could not see the bottom. As Lin Dong followed the direction of those cliffs and shot forwards, his sharp and acute eyes continuously scanned every direction. This continued on for quite a while, before Lin Dong's mind suddenly shook as he shot his gaze immediately below him. At that spot, a rather intense energy fluctuations had suddenly radiated out once again. At the edges of Lin Dong's gaze, a silver vortex took form once again below him. Right smack in the middle of the vortex was a clump of lightning glow, which slowly floated up. Within that clump of light was precisely another thunderbolt core. Chi. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong immediately shot forward. However, in the next instant, he froze up all of a sudden, before thick astonishment appeared on his face as he looked below. Present, there was an extremely gigantic lightning cliff gorge with a bottomless pit. It looked as though it was connected to the bottom of the earth. The two sides of the gorge were lined with countless stone caves. Taking advantage of the reflections off the lightning liquid, Lin Dong was able to faintly discernible that there seemed to be some figures sitting within them. However, not the slightest bit of life was present within those figures. Shock filled Lin Dong's eyes as he looked towards at the lightning cliff gorge before him. From the looks of it, this should be the origin of the never-ending thunderbolt cores, right? Lin Dong's figure slowly approached the lightning cliff gorge, before floating he chose to float before a stretch of stone caves. At this distance, he was able to see that there were indeed figures sitting within those stone caves. However, at the moment, those figures were withered and looked like skeletons. Lightning pervaded their entire bodies, and Lin Dong was able to feel pure lightning power being pressured to the extreme within their bodies. Obviously, after sitting here for so many years, every inch of flesh remaining on these corpses were saturated with lightning power. Coupled with the immense pressure of the water, this had turned these corpses into mummies completely formed from lightning power. Lin Dong stared at those mummies, that had seemingly transformed into lightning, for a while, before turning his gaze towards the chest of those mummies. At that spot, he could faintly discern a sliver of an extremely faint and sinister black aura twisting around. However, those sinister black aura were completely sealed and suppressed by those pure lightning power. That is the reason why the black energy were unable to control these bodies and transform into those mindless killing corpses that Lin Dong had encountered previously. These people purposefully chose to sit beneath the lightning lake and rely on the power of the lightning power here to suppress the Yimo Chi that had invaded their bodies, solely to prevent themselves from transforming into those mindless killing corpses after they died. Lin Dong's eyes sparkled, and very quickly he was able to faintly understand the situation. In the next moment, his gaze was filled with some complicated feelings. These experts were undeniably worthy of respect. In order to prevent themselves from turning into monsters after being invaded by the Yimo Chi, they were willing to sitting at the bottom of this lightning lake, and transform their bodies into lightning. Boom! A faint muffled clap of thunder suddenly rang out from a stone cave not far away. In the next instant, Lin Dong saw that the silver corpse present within had suddenly erupted with a bright and resplendent lightning glow. As those rays of lightning glow pierced berserkly out of his body, it appeared akin to a miniature sun when seen from afar. Bang! As the rays of lightning grew more and more intense, all of a sudden, the silver corpse exploded abruptly. The instant the corpse exploded, a silver clump of light started to rise up. Present within the clump of light was a silver heart, slowly jumping around. That was a thunderbolt core. As Lin Dong took in the spectacle before him, he deeply exhaled. Finally, he understood why there were tons of thunderbolt cores popping out from the bottom of this lightning lake. It's no wonder. Those thunderbolt cores were formed from the irrigation of lightning power into the bodies of those experts that had sat here for thousands of years. The moment the thunderbolt core appeared, the emochi within their bodies were completely dispelled by the extremely rich and powerful lightning power formed at that very instant. At last, they've completed their final wish before their deaths. Lin Dong muttered. So this is how the thunderbolt cores appeared. A voice filled with shock rang out from a place behind him. Panning his head around, Lin Dong saw that Lu Shengshuan, Pang Hao as well as the mass of experts from various places have already reached this place, and were started emotionally at the lightning cliff gorge present before them. Obviously, 
the previous scene whereby the silver corpse exploded while a thunderbolt core rose up, were all captured within their eyes. Ha! There's so many silver corpses here. If they were to all transform into thunderbolt cores, how terrifying would that be? We've truly entered a treasure trove. Who would have expected that these thunderbolt cores, which are extremely rare in the outside world, would actually be present in such quantities here? Precisely. If we're able to obtain a few of them, this trip would be more than worth it. The flames burning within the eyes of the experts from various places had already reached their epitome as they stared scorchingly at the massive stone caves present within the vast and expansive Lightning Cliff Gorge. At the moment, unconcealable greed and drool were present on their faces. Waves of noises rang out from the mouths of the various experts. In the next moment, some people were quickly unable to contain the greed present in their hearts. Shooting forwards explosively, they rushed towards the stone caves present within the Lightning Cliff Gorge. Bang bang bang. The moment they rushed forward, the resulting fluctuations formed was akin to the last straw that breaks the camel's back. Quite a few silver corpses within the many stone caves exploded at this instant, causing thunderbolt cores, sparkling with alluring lightning glow to float up. The instant any thunderbolt core appeared, there would be some be some experts who would fight over it. For a moment, this lightning cliff gorge turned extremely chaotic and fiery. Wrinkling his forehead, Lin Dong looked towards the mass of experts struggling about. Extending his hand and gesturing towards Mu Ling Shan beside him, he spoke out. Let's take action and grab some thunderbolt cores too. These thing are quite beneficial for your cultivation. Mu Ling Shan was of a member of the Sea Demon Clan, and had a tyrannical physical body. If she was able to obtain some thunderbolt cores, she might be able to upgrade her already tyrannical body to the next level. Furthermore, as of now, Lin Dong also needed those things. He still wanted to find out how strong the desolated demon eye within his forehead would be after completely strengthening it. Okay. Mu Ling Shan nodded her head with extreme excitement. From the looks of it, she was extremely fond of matters like treasure hunting. The two of them shot out seemingly at the same time, before rushing towards the, the vast and expansive lightning cliff gorge. As the two of them took action, they retrieved the thunderbolt cores floating up rapidly one after another. With Lin Dong and Mu Ling Shan taking action, Pang Hao, Lu Shang Xuan and their large group of people were also unable to hold themselves back. In the next instant, whooshing sounds rang out as all of them rushed into the Lightning Cliff Gorge, before using various methods and techniques to snatch and obtain those Thunderbolt cores. As the fighting continued, there would naturally be some bloody conflicts. In a short span of time under 10 minutes, some individuals were killed in those struggles. Fresh blood spread out within the Lightning Liquid, causing the entire Lightning Cliff Gorge to faintly reek of blood. However, while everyone was busy fighting over those thunderbolt cores, no one realized that a strange phenomenon was happening. As if they were being stimulated by the bloody scent, wisps of black energy stealthily rose from some of those silver corpses that appeared extremely sturdy and strong present within those stone caves at the depths of the lightning cliff. This was especially so at the deepest part of the lightning cliff gorge. Present there, was an extremely vast and expansive cave. At the moment, a silver figure approximately a few meters tall sat within it, while strange and sinister black demonic marks slowly climbed up his body. Furthermore, his eyes, which seemed to have been shut tightly for thousands of years, had started to faintly tremble, akin to a evil demon about to awaken. Buzz. Lin Dong's hand took on the shape of a claw as a suction force suddenly erupted from within his bomb. The thunderbolt core that had just surfaced from within the stone cave immediately whistled out. After which, it was grabbed by him. The fourth one. Lin Dong grabbed the thunderbolt core and felt the surging pure lightning energy within it as excitement involuntarily flashed across his eyes. In less than 10 minutes, he had already obtained the fourth thunderbolt core. Such a haul was already very bountiful. After keeping this thunderbolt core, Lin Dong glanced towards Mu Ling Shan in front of him. At this moment, the latter was darting all over the place in an excited manner as she searched for thunderbolt cores. Wild and violent Yuan power fluctuations continued to ripple over from even further away, and it was possible to faintly hear the sounds of battle. Although there were quite a number of silver corpses within this lightning gorge, not all of them could turn into a thunderbolt core. Hence, the number of thunderbolt cores was far from being able to satisfy the endless greed within everyone's heart. No one would think that there were too many of such treasures. Additionally, the news about this place had clearly continued to spread. Hence, Lin Dong was able to occasionally see some unfamiliar experts charging into the lightning lake with heated eyes. After which, they directly rushed towards his current location. It was likely that many experts had already heard of the news and hence hurried over to snatch the thunderbolt cores. 
with an increasing demand and decreasing supply, a bloody battle was naturally unavoidable. Fortunately, these people had heard about the Lendong duo and were aware of just how troublesome it was to deal with them. Hence, no one came to disturb them for the moment. However, Lindong was aware that this was only temporarily. Once the number of Thunderbolt cores available diminished, the reasoning of those experts would gradually be weakened by their greed. Sooner or later, an intense and chaotic battle would erupt in this place. The corners of Lindong's mouth curled as a stern expression flashed across his eyes. He was happy if these people did not provoke him. However, if they were to have designs on the Thunderbolt cores in his hand, he could only allow them to know what was known as suffering a loss without making any gains. Lin Dong withdrew his eyes as he thought of this. His body moved and gradually rushed towards the deeper parts of the Lightning Gorge. The Thunderbolt cores in the outer regions had basically been completely cleaned out. Pang Hao's expression was cold and indifferent as he stared at the Lin Dong duo from behind while they were hurrying into the deeper parts of the Lightning Gorge. A stern expression suddenly flashed across his eyes. Hey, the both of them seem to have collected a total of 10 Thunderbolt cores. This is not any less than us. A man beside Pang Hao parted his mouth and laughed. He was one of the three who had exchanged blows with Mu Ling Shan back at the Stone City, and was also one of the so-called Four Demon Generals of the Nine Serene Gate. He was quite strong. It doesn't matter. Allow them to slowly collect the Thunderbolt cores. Pang Hao laughed faintly. However, that smile of his was exceptionally ruthless. Once they have collected a sufficient number, I will make them hand everything over. Although the strength of the Lin Dong duo was a little different from what he had expected, this did not cause him to feel any fear towards them. These lone wolves actually dared to compete over these treasures with their nine serene gate. Fools that really did not know their limit. Try to collect as many thunderbolt cores as possible. Kill anyone who dares vie with us. Pang Hao turned his head and instructed. Those experts from the nine serene gate revealed a fierce glint in their eyes upon hearing this. After which, Savage laughter sounded as they charged towards the places where lightning glows had risen from. Lin Dong was not aware of the Nine Serene Gate schemes. Currently, he was gradually venturing deeper into the Lightning Gorge. During the subsequent 10 minutes, he managed to collect another two Thunderbolt cores. However, Lin Dong frowned and gradually discovered a problem as he continued to venture deeper. It seemed that the Yimo aura contained within the bodies of these silver corpses in the Stone Cave was becoming increasingly thick the deeper he went. Clearly, the erosion suffered by these experts when they were alive was a little more serious compared to those from earlier. Such a cave sect would have likely dominated for a period of time within their era. Given these numbers, it seemed that they was not any weaker than a super sect. It was unexpected that they had still ended up with such a fate after being attacked by the Yimo. Hey hey, brother Lin Dong, I have six Thunderbolt cores. While Lin Dong was frowning over this discovery, Mu Ling Shan moved closer to him. At this moment, there were two Thunderbolt cores floating in her little hands. Looks like she also had a bountiful harvest this trip. Lin Dong smiled after hearing this. He was just about to speak when his expression suddenly sunk. He slowly lifted his head and saw that five figures had appeared around him at some unknown time. At this moment, their eyes were greedily staring at the two Thunderbolt cores in Mu Ling Shan's hands. Looks like trouble had ultimately come looking for them. There are still many Thunderbolt cores in other places. I advise all of you to obediently go and collect them. Do not end up losing your lives because of a moment of recklessness. Lin Dong stared at this five men group and spoke in a faint voice. Lin Dong could sense that these five individuals were all quite powerful. Four of them were at the peak of the advanced profound life stage and the bald leader had already reached the perfect profound life stage. Such strength was already considered rather good. Hey, what arrogant words. A cold glint flashed across the eyes of the bald man after hearing Lin Dong's words. He looked at Mu Ling Shan beside Lin Dong. He had also clearly heard of the former. Usually, he would not wish to offend this little fiend. However, under the temptation of the Thunderbolt cores, it was clear that the reasoning of many had diminished. What is there to be arrogant about? Regardless of how strong you are, there are only two of you. Do you think that the five of us are afraid of you? We will not go overboard. We will leave as long as you hand over half of the Thunderbolt cores in your hands. What do you say? One of them laughed coldly. Split half with you? A grin surfaced from the corners of Lin Dong's mouth. After which, he softly inquired, I wonder how many Thunderbolt cores do the five of you have? Brat, don't tell me that you are actually planning to target us? An ominous look flashed across the bald-headed man's face. Immediately, he comprehended the meaning contained within Lin Dong's words. Correct. The smile on Lin Dong's face widened. In the next moment, it suddenly became ice cold. At the same time, 
His body shot out like an arrow. Ling Shan, attack. A soft shout echoed. Mu Ling Shan flipped her small hand and kept the two thunderbolt cores into her Kuan Kun bag. After which, the life death coffin cover once again appeared with a flash. A cold snort sounded and she swiftly charged forward. These people actually dared to target her. How could she let them off so easily? Lin Dong's target was the bald man who had reached the perfect profound life stage. Ten green dragon light tattoos swam around his body. An extremely powerful ripple spread as he lifted his hand. Lin Dong was extremely quick. In a flash, he had appeared in front of that bald man. After which, he directly threw a punch. Ten green dragon light tattoos galloped and surged in front of him as a faint dragon roar sounded. Humphrey. That bald man's body flickered with faint black light when he saw this. His body seemed to turn into metal at this moment. From the looks of it, it was obvious that he was a troublesome foe who had trained his physical body. Bang! The fists of both parties collided ferociously as shocking energy ripples immediately swept apart. The lightning liquid around them suddenly exploded. Lin Dong's body trembled slightly. Devouring power surged from within his body and directly swallowed the force which had invaded his body. On the other hand, the bald man was forced back by a couple of steps. Good brat, you do indeed have some skill. That bald man finally became serious after seeing that he had actually lost out on a head-on clash. From the earlier punch, he understood that the strength of Lin Dong's physical body did not lose to his own. Lin Dong clenched his hand. His mouth parted as he smiled at the bald man. Green light surged and once again pounced forward. He did not give the latter any time to catch his breath. While Lin Dong and the bald man were engaged in an intense fight, Mu Ling Shan had also caught up with the four peak level advanced profound life stage experts. The life death coffin cover in her hands was lifted and the expressions of those four immediately became extremely ugly. This was because they had discovered that despite outnumbering her, they were clearly unable to block this seemingly delicate and small green clothed girl. Only at this moment did they begin to cry out bitterly within their hearts. It seemed that this Mu Ling Shan did indeed possess quite a great ability that allowed her to dominate on the island. However, it was clearly a little too late for regrets at this moment. Excitement leapt within Mu Ling Shan's large eyes. The four individuals before her seemed to have become thunderbolt cores which had been delivered to her like fattened sheep. There would really be no justice if she missed this chance. Bang bang! An intense battle erupted deep within the lightning gorge. This battle did not last for a long. Mu Ling Shan used the fastest speed to defeat those four peak level advanced profound life stage experts. After which, she unceremoniously snatched the four thunderbolt cores in their possession. The bald man had also become extremely miserable as he fought Lin Dong. All of his attacks landed on Lin Dong's body but the latter did not even budge. However, Lin Dong's attacks caused him to feel a heart-wrenching pain each time they landed on his body. The strength of their bodies were clearly not on the same level. You guys are good. Let's go. Yet another head-on collision occurred and the bald man's body shot back miserably as sweetness rose from his throat. His eyes were grim as he gazed at the grinning Lin Dong rubbing his fist. After which, he glanced at the four injured individuals. He clenched his teeth and decisively pulled back. The four individuals could only swiftly pull back while scowling miserably after seeing the bald man retreat. Lin Dong smilingly watched this scene but he did not give chase. There was no time for him to do so at this moment. Oh? However, Lin Dong's pupils suddenly shrunk as he watched the five individuals who were about to flee. He suddenly lowered his head and saw that over a dozen black lights had swept out like ghosts from deeper parts of the lightning gorge below. After which, they ruthlessly struck the five figures. Ugh. The faces of those four peak level advanced profound life stage experts paled almost immediately. After which, they slowly lowered their heads. A shriveled hand had pierced their hearts. The owner of that shriveled hand was completely silver in color. Black light danced within the eyes of the silver corpses. Ugh. That perfect profound life stage expert was a little stronger. Although he ended up being forced to spit out a mouthful of fresh blood, he had still managed to retain his life. After which, he lifted his head in shock and looked at those silver corpses that had suddenly attacked them. There was terror in his eyes. Ling Shan, let's leave. Lin Dong observed this scene as his pupils shrunk tightly. After which, he grabbed Mu Ling Shan and directly rushed in the other direction while ignoring that unfortunate fellow. This was because at this moment, Lin Dong had clearly seen many densely packed silver corpses suddenly rush out from the depths of the lightning gorge. Some unexpected changes seemed to have occurred in this place. Two light figures quickly rushed past in the lightning lake with great speed. Lightning liquid rippled behind them and one could vaguely see many silver figures rushing forward in a swift ghost-like fashion. Big Brother Lin Dong 
What are those things? Muling Shan also discovered the unusual change at this moment. Her small face was a little surprised as she looked behind her and asked. The emo energy within those silver corpses is too strong. The lightning energy in this lightning lake does not seem to be capable of suppressing it. Lin Dong pursed his lips. His expression was somewhat grave. The further one ventured into the lightning gorge, the stronger the emo energy in those silver corpses was. The difficulty of suppressing and eliminating it would also rise greatly. However, Lin Dong could vaguely sense that this current unexpected change was perhaps related to their entry. The lightning energy and the emo energy had previously clearly formed a kind of stable equilibrium. Their arrival have likely damaged this equilibrium, resulting in the emo energy gaining the upper hand and allowing it to once again turn these statue-like silver corpses into slaughtering demons. In that case, does this not mean that we can no longer collect thunderbolt cores? Mu Lingshan held the life-death coffin cover in her hand and asked. The number of silver corpses seemed to have far exceeded those they had encountered earlier. If they were to be entangled by them, it would likely become quite troublesome. At this moment, there was no need to even mention collecting thunderbolt cores. Let's observe first before deciding. Lin Dong replied in a deep voice. Now that such an event had occurred, it was likely that no expert present would be able to escape. These silver corpses might be strong but the various experts present were not ordinary individuals either. Lin Dong did not say anything more after his voice sounded. His body moved and his speed increased while Mu Ling Shan followed closely behind him. The change in the depths of the lightning gorge began to spread rapidly. After all, Lin Dong's group was not the only one that had ventured into the deeper parts to search for the thunderbolt cores. Some of the stronger experts had already ventured deep inside, hence, this change naturally also affected them. In the beginning, some experts were caught off guard. They were unable to even recover their wits as these silver corpses charged at them. Within a short period of time, many people were killed by these silver corpses. Even though some lucky Yuan spirits managed to escape, they were forced to death's door due to the lightning energy contained within the lightning lake. In the end, they gradually vanished into nothingness. Blood and chaos quickly spread in the lightning gorge together with an atmosphere of panic and terror. Numerous experts withdrew from the Lightning Gorge. After which, they wore shocked expressions as they watched the Silver Corpses continuously charge out from within the Lightning Gorge. What happened? Have all these Silver Corpses actually been refined into puppets? Many experts looked at the Silver Corpses that had charged out as numerous puzzled whispers swiftly spread. Everyone, there is no need to be afraid. These Silver Corpses might be quite strong but they do not possess any intelligence. It is not difficult to deal with them. The only problem is their somewhat large numbers. As long as we defeat them, we will be able to head to the deeper parts of the Lightning Gorge to search for Thunderbolt cores. The Thunderbolt cores formed below will surely be of better quality. Some cries spread in the Lightning Lake while everyone were feeling shocked. Clearly, there were still people who did not intend to abandon the greed in their hearts even when faced with such a situation. Such a cry did indeed have quite a big impact at this moment. This was because an increasing number of experts had hurried over to the Lightning Lake after hearing the rumors. Many of those who would come later had yet to collect the Thunderbolt cores. These people were far too unwilling to give up now. Hence, rich murderous intent immediately flashed within the eyes of some after they heard such this cry. Lin Dong observed the many experts who had become somewhat restless with cold eyes from the side. Those words from earlier were indeed true. This Lightning Gorge was clearly such that the Silver Corpses were stronger the deeper one went. At the same time, the erosion of the emo energy they suffered was quite serious. If it was possible to remove the emo energy, the quality of the thunderbolt cores they transformed into would be even better. Of course, the precondition was that they must first finish off these violent silver corpses. Roar. The silver corpses which had charged out from the lightning gorge emitted beast-like roars while these thoughts were present in Lin Dong's mind. An evil black horror lingered deep within the eyes of these silver corpses. Without further ado, silver flashed. After which, they rushed towards this direction like floodwaters. Charge. After being caught off guard earlier, the various experts regained their wits at this moment. Additionally, greed surged within their hearts. In an instant, most of the fear within their hearts had disappeared and an explosive cry sounded. Countless formidable martial arts attacks were unleashed at the same time. After which, they smashed towards the silver torrent from all directions. Bang bang. The head-on clash between the two parties immediately led to a loud sound spreading in a deafening manner. That frightening force directly formed a 10,000 feet large vacuum on the bottom of the lightning lake and even the lightning liquid flew outwards. The combination of such a large number of experts naturally led to an extremely overwhelming power. 
Immediately, the silver torrent was forcefully contained. Dozens of silver corpses at the front were directly smashed into dust. Damn it, be a little softer with your attacks. The thunderbolt cores will disappear if the silver corpses are destroyed. Some of the experts immediately cried out furiously while feeling a great heartache after seeing the silver corpses turning into dust. The silver corpses at the bottom of the lake might have been eroded like those shriveled corpses Lin Dong's group had encountered earlier, and there was a slight difference between them. Those shriveled corpses from earlier had retained some power from when they were alive within their bodies. An example was those 18 shriveled corpses. Their bodies contained death chi from their cultivation when they were alive. This death chi had even agglomerated into the death solidarity pill. However, these silver corpses did not possess any power from when they were alive. However, their bodies had already been filled with lightning energy after soaking at the bottom of this lightning lake for thousands of years. Therefore, it was impossible for them to form the death solidarity pill after the emo energy was removed. However, their entire body would turn into a thunderbolt core containing a pure lightning energy. Fools. Lin Dong involuntarily shook his head upon hearing those roars. Did these fellows really believe that these silver corpses were soft persimmons that they could squash as they wished? They were actually thinking of holding back at such a moment. Roar. Many low roars were emitted from the silver corpses below soon after the heartache cries from those experts sounded. It was as though they were verifying Lin Dong's thoughts. Immediately, a silver light suddenly appeared. It directly broke through the attacks of the numerous martial arts. Charge. As long as we expel the strange energy within their bodies, they will turn into thunderbolt cores. Many experts looked at the silver corpses charging towards them as a red glow and murderous intent flashed within their eyes. After which, majestic Yuan power erupted and received the corpses. Boom! Two torrents accompanied by a shocking momentum clashed at the bottom of the lightning lake. The activity shook the lightning lake until it seemed as if it had been turned upside down. The fight was exceptionally miserable as both parties clashed. One party was without life while the other had red eyes because of the thunderbolt cores. This battle was quite vicious. We should also attack. Be careful. Lin Dong watched this miserable and chaotic battlefield. A glint flashed within his eyes as he spoke to Mu Ling Shan. The battle was clearly at a stalemate. Coincidentally, they could take the opportunity to reap some benefits amidst the chaos and grab a couple more thunderbolt cores. Understood. Mu Ling Shan nodded excitedly. The scene in front of her had already caused her hands to itch slightly. However, she did not dare to randomly charge forward before Lin Dong gave the order. The both of them practically charged forward at the same time. They did not charge towards the area with the most number of silver corpses. Instead, they swam at the outer areas of the battleground and stealthily finished off those silver corpses that had escaped one after another. The bottom of the lightning lake had clearly become extremely chaotic at this moment. Incomparably violent energy fluctuations caused shockingly huge waves to rise on the surface of the lightning lake. This caused the experts who had continued to hurry over to feel a little frightened. However, when they thought of the thunderbolt cores, they immediately suppressed the fear within their hearts. After which, splashing sounds were heard as many figures continued to charge into the lightning lake. Bang! Lin Dong's palm landed on a silver corpse at lightning speed. After which, a warm white light quietly entered the body of the silver corpse. The black light flickering in the latter's eyes quickly vanished. Lin Dong, who possessed the Ancestor Stone, did not have much of difficulty eliminating the Yemo energy. After the removal of the Yemo energy within the body of the Silver Corpse, the latter began to tremble. Lightning glow flashed. However, this lightning glow was about to agglomerate when many cracks appeared on the surface of its body. Sigh. Lin Dong shook his head helplessly upon seeing this and casually tossed the Silver Corpse aside. The lightning energy within this Silver Corpse had already been scattered earlier. Hence, it had ended up failing to agglomerate into a thunderbolt core. Hey hey, brother Lin Dong, you seem to be extremely unlucky. Mu Ling Shan laughingly lifted her small hand a short distance away. The silver corpse she had just destroyed had successfully formed a thunderbolt core. She had once again obtained four thunderbolt cores during this period of time. Although Lin Dong was much faster than Mu Ling Shan in dealing with the Yemo energy, he had only obtained two thunderbolt cores. Lin Dong tossed aside the silver corpse. After which, he once again rushed forward and laughed loudly, in that case, let us compete and see who is able to obtain more thunderbolt cores. Mu Ling Shan laughed upon hearing this. Her body rushed towards another silver corpse near her. Following the flow of time, the battle at the bottom of the lightning lake also became increasingly intense. However, with an increasing number of experts hurrying over, these silver corpses finally began to show signs of being defeated. However, 
no one knew that blood was continuously gathering towards the depths of the lightning gorge following the increasing intensity of the battle. The bloody aura finally surged into a cave at the bottom of the lake where a dozen feet tall silver figure was quietly seated. Black demonic symbols covered his body. At this moment, those demonic symbols were like giant mouths greedily devouring the bloody aura. Buzz. After this devouring reached a certain point, the human figure covered in black demonic symbols finally opened his eyes which had been shut for thousands of years. Black flames filled his eyes, giving him a chillingly evil appearance. Boom. An astonishing energy wave unfurled from the bottom of the lake with shocking momentum. Countless human figures and silver light seemed to interweave together. Each time they clashed, a low and deep sound would be emitted. Occasionally, someone would be sent flying backwards while vomiting blood. Most of the time however, it was the silver figures that gradually crumbled one by one. The silver corpses finally began to show signs of being defeated in the face of the treasure seekers that endlessly streamed in to join the battle at the bottom of the lake. It seemed that there was finally a conclusion to this sudden outbreak of silver corpses. Dong. Lin Dong's body was just like a ghost as he approached a silver corpse. His hand was as quick as lightning as it imprinted onto its chest. White light flashed at his fingertips and swiftly burrowed into the body of the silver corpse. After the invasion of the white light the silver corpse immediately stiffened while the black aura leaping within its eyes also began to diminish bit by bit. At the same time, a lightning glow began to gather on its body. Fortunately, it did not show any signs of crumbling this time. Lucky. Lin Dong smiled slightly upon seeing this. Lightning flashed. After which, it swiftly gathered. In a short span of time, a thunderbolt core was successfully formed in front of the many greedy eyes around him. Lin Dong made a grabbing motion with his hand when the thunderbolt core was successfully formed. After which, he swiftly kept it into his Kuai Kun bag. Brother Lin Dong, how many thunderbolt cores have you collected? Mu Ling Shan hurried over at this moment and smilingly asked. 8. Adding those that I obtained earlier, it is a total of 17 thunderbolt cores. Lin Dong laughed. I have 20. Mu Ling Shan was extremely pleased with herself as her two pigtails seemed to bounce on her head. Together with her exquisite porcelain doll-like face, she appeared extremely cute. Lin Dong could not resist stroking Mu Ling Shan's small head. 20 Thunderbolt cores was indeed quite a shocking number. After all, there were far too many experts at the bottom of the lake at this moment. Many of them did not even have a single Thunderbolt core in their hands. Be careful of those people from the Nine Serene Gate. They have been staring at us since the beginning. Lin Dong softly said. His eyes glanced towards a certain direction as he spoke where experts from the Nine Serene Gate had gathered together. Their leader was Pang Hao. The latter also seemed to have detected Lin Dong's gaze at this moment. He turned his head and met Lin Dong's gaze. After which, he smiled. The smile was filled with playfulness. Hateful fellows who just don't disappear. Mu Ling Shan clenched her teeth as her small hands involuntarily grasped the life death coffin cover tighter. If it was not because she was aware of just how powerful and large in numbers the group was, it was likely that she would have been unable to resist slamming the life death coffin cover at them. Lin Dong smiled. However, that smile of his was exceptionally frosty. There were indeed many experts from the Nine Serene Gate. However, if Pang Hao thought that Lin Dong was a soft persimmon that he could squash, he would be making a huge mistake. As time flowed, the chaotic fighting at the bottom of the Lightning Lake gradually came to an end. Those few remaining silver corpses were swiftly destroyed under the combined attacks from many experts. After the final silver corpse vanished, the area gradually descended into a temporary silence. Fresh blood spread within the lightning liquid, causing the silver lightning liquid to turn a little red. There were also many experts who had lost their lives in the earlier fight. Some of this was caused by the attacks of the silver corpses, however, many were also a result of a cold dagger in their back. All the experts who had come to this place were extremely ruthless individuals. If there was an opportunity, they would naturally not hesitate to eliminate other competitors. Pant. Many experts slowly panted after the fighting came to a halt. The surging Yuan power around them was quite chaotic. Some of the experts had excited faces because of their gains. However, their eyes were extremely cautious as they watched the surrounding experts. Clearly, they were worried that someone would suddenly attack and snatch the Thunderbolt cores they had staked their lives to obtain. For a time, the atmosphere at the bottom of the Lightning Lake, which had just seen an end to a bitter battle, had become tense and strange. The experts who were battling side by side earlier began to quietly back away from each other while caution climbed into their eyes. He he. Pang Hao from the Nine Serene Gate suddenly laughed softly amidst this tense atmosphere. He drew the many gazes present towards him. Pang Hao ignored those gazes. 
His playful eyes had already landed on Lin Dong. The latter's eyes were currently staring back at him in an ice-cold fashion. It seemed that he wished to see just what game the former intended to play. Brother Lin Dong likely has quite a haul right? I believe that there should be nearly 30 Thunderbolt cores in your hands? Pang Hao's face was full of smiles as he spoke in a friendly manner. Crash. These words of his immediately stirred a commotion at the lake bottom. The eyes of some of the experts had immediately become a lot redder. They were only able to obtain two to three Thunderbolt cores after fighting with all their might. Yet, Lin Dong was actually in possession of at least a shocking amount of 30. Many gazes that were tinged with red stealthily shifted. With a whoosh, they paused on the Lin Dong duo. From a distance away, Lu Shang Xuan and the members of the mysterious Sky Hall also watched this scene. She was naturally able to tell that Pang Hao was intentionally targeting Lin Dong. However, she did not say anything. She did not have any relation with Lin Dong, hence it was naturally impossible that she would intervene. That little fellow is rather unlucky. Although they are both rather powerful, they are ultimately not a large faction like us. It is difficult for them to deter the other experts. Currently, he is in possession of nearly 30 Thunderbolt cores. It will be difficult for them to not attract the attention of others. A faint voice was emitted from behind Lu Shangxuan. It was from a seemingly inconsequential skinny middle-aged man. Does teacher Uncle Tao think that we should intervene? Lu Shangxuan merely nodded slightly and smiled after hearing the words spoken by this middle-aged man. Let's sit back and watch. We have also obtained many Thunderbolt cores. There is no need to be overly anxious. Moreover, that lad is no ordinary person. It will not be easy for Pang Hao to force him into a desperate state. The middle-aged man softly replied. Yes. Lu Shangxuan nodded her head gently. Her pretty eyes looked towards Lin Dong with some curiosity. She could be considered to have exchanged blows with Lin Dong earlier. The latter was indeed quite strong. However, could he really remain this calm when faced with this den of wolves? This person. Lin Dong's expression darkened slightly after seeing the many greedy eyes look over. This Pang Hao was quite vicious. These few words had placed Lin Dong in a position where many was against him. The 30 Thunderbolt cores were sufficient to cause the hearts of many to be ready to cause trouble. Bastard. Mu Lingshan's small face had turned completely red because of anger. She lifted her sleeve and was prepared to swing the coffin cover at someone. However, she was stopped by Lin Dong's extended hand. It is likely that you people from the Nine Serene Gate also possess dozens of Thunderbolt cores right? Lin Dong looked at Pang Hao and suddenly grinned. Pang Hao lifted his brow and gave a non-committal shrug. So what if they had so many Thunderbolt cores in their hands? With their great strength and numbers, would there be any experts who would dare target them? Since brother Pang Hao has paid such close attention to the Thunderbolt cores in my hands, why don't the both of us engage in a bet? Both of us will fight one on one. If I lose, I will distribute all the Thunderbolt cores in my hands to everyone present. If you lose, you will hand over all your Thunderbolt cores. I will take half while the remaining half will be distributed to all the friends here. What do you say? Lin Dong smilingly asked. The commotion around swelled almost instantly after Lin Dong's words sounded. Many were a little stunned. Soon after, surprise rose within their eyes as their gazes began to shoot towards the nearby Pang Hao. Ha ha, truly bold. He actually dares to challenge Pang Hao. Staking 30 Thunderbolt cores. How bold. I wonder if Pang Hao dares to accept. Pang Hao's expression had become a little ugly due to the many gazes that had turned towards him and the deliberately loud noises created by the crowd. He did not expect that Lin Dong would act be so vicious and directly dragged him into the matter. Moreover, the stakes of the bet he proposed was shocking. What a cunning fellow. The middle-aged man behind Lu Shangxuan laughed softly. Lu Shangxuan nodded gently. In this way, Lin Dong had directly dragged Pang Hao into the most eye-catching position. This person was really sufficiently ruthless. He knew that he might end up being attacked by some greedy individuals if this continued. Immediately, he unhesitatingly dragged Pang Hao down with him. You wish to challenge me. The smile on Pang Hao's face disappeared bit by bit as a dark and solemn fury replaced it. He did not expect that Lin Dong would be even more cunning than himself. A simple sentence and he had been implicated too. If he was to shrink back at this moment, it was likely that his name as the leader of the four demon generals from the Nine Serene Gate would become a joke. Murderous intent surged out from Pang Hao's eyes. Soon after, he clenched his hand as a sinister 10 feet long black long whip appeared in his hand. Waves of shocking aura suddenly spread along with a dark and cold voice. Lin Dong, I'm afraid that you have chosen the wrong target to act tough against this time around, 